Previously on Pokemon Ash Gray. Oh, Eevee! I hid in the forest so that my brothers wouldn't make it evolve. They're known as the Eevee brothers because they all have evolutions of Eevee. But I just want to be an Eevee trainer. I'll take Eevee back now. There's your Eevee. Alright, I'll give you Eevee back. There you go. Thanks for bringing Eevee back to me. Something but the river's flowing again. Now I can feed my family. Let me give you something as a little thanks for your efforts. Miracle Seed. Ash, thank you for your help in, in trying to reunite these gym leaders and stop their bickering. That Dark City could become a lot brighter. Please take this as my thanks. A soothe Bell, cool. For return type things. Thank you, Ash. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. And welcome back to Pokemon Ash Gray. Now, I know it's been a while and I have a nasty cold, but you know what? I have a little bit of free time and I decided, huh, what the hell? Might as well play some Pokemons! Ash Gray, I don't even know why. I do have Toxic. Excuse me while I just take care of this quickly. Like I said before, I wanted to make Bulbazar into a Stolazar. <clears throat> Excuse me for talking a little bit on the quieter side. My voice is still a little <clears throat> on the weak side, and I might do some coughing, so if you see any cutting, that's probably it. Anyway, <coughs> that's a cool animation. That really hurt, ow. Okay, so let's continue with this game. Uh, you'll see what happened previously with just like been doing normal. So let's continue to the left after getting through Dark City. And I don't know where we are. The circus? I hope there's not any clowns. Okay, well, I guess the circus is in town, which is not an awful thing. Why the heck does that thing have quick attack? Well, I know why it has quick attack, but that's the Pidgeotto and all Wigglytuff. And all Pidgeotos have quick attack. Well, I don't know if that's actually... Well, yeah, most of them actually do, and I know I personally don't want to keep that on, so that's the first time I've actually seen a Wigglytuff in this. You're afraid of clowns, I'm sorry, but it looks like we do have a circus right here. What? You came out of nowhere! When the circus came to town, I hope the show will be good. Huh, you know what? I hope it will be too. So, we got a Gloom, which Gloom can easily be taken out. I think Pidgeotto's weaker than Charmander, right? Yeah, they're about the same level. That's okay, though. That's why I have the whole lovely leftover thing on Pidgeotto. What do you have to say now? Did you know Mr. Mime are nature's clowns? Really? All right, Helene. I've had it. I quit. Please don't leave me. I promise to pay you as soon as I can. Then pay me right now. I can't right now, but I promise as soon as I get some paying customers, I'll pay you. And who do you think is going to come watch your lousy show? Goodbye. Oh, boy. That seems unfortunate. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Oh, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? I need an assistant for my act. I'm a magician. Melvin's the name. Oh, Mel. Oh, <gasps> this is the episode. Finally! Anyway, you'll see. I'm not very famous yet, but I'm working really hard on my act. Will you help me? Sure, why not? Wonderful! I'll meet you inside. Alright, so let's see what this Melvin the Magician actually needs from us. Oh, I'm on! Hang on! I'm coming! So, let's see how this Melvin the Magician actually works, I guess. I still can't move. There we go. Oh, because I had to give him time to load up onto the stage. So I'm going to execute. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Melvin, the Magician Magnificent. My execute will do some great magic tricks that will amaze and surprise. Don't you mean amaze and surprise you? That's weird to say, amaze and amaze you. Kind of. No, I don't want to say. Yeah, mixing them up. So let's see what these guys have to say. Boring. Do a trick, will ya? Let's get the show on the road. Apparently not many people like him. This is pathetic. You're the worst. Alright, what do you need, buddy? Oh, it's my lovely assist- But I'm a guy. Whatever. Let me show you how my execute hypnosis works. Melvin's execute- Ah! I'm- Oh, great. I'm hypnotized. That's great. Oh, it worked? Hmm. Maybe you could help me. Travel to the west of Route 20 and capture an executor for me. That would really spice up my act. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to- Go and capture an executor for Melvin. This is really odd. I wonder if if I go this way, will it just say you can't go this way because of blah blah blah? Oh no, I can still do that. All right, just wanted to check that. Okay. Well, I guess we have some more trainers, and we need to go over to the west of Route 20 so we can actually pick up a few more Pokemon for us. Well, we need to get that executor for uh, Melvin, which, huh? Now that I think about it, Ash's Pokemon did end up catching a lot of Executor. I just could not remember that for some reason. There's only one Magician. He didn't know very many tricks. 
I'm from Neon Town. Check out my Neon Town. That's another place I'll probably be eventually visiting. Oh, wait, I, I probably should have switched somebody else with Pidgeotto, but that's okay. Uh, let's get Pikachu out there. God, my voice hurt. <clears throat> yeah, so if, if, if I'm a little hard to hear today, it's just because I'm, again, having some trouble talking. The whole uh, me being sick doesn't really help out the situation at all, so... <coughs> Lovely sinus infections we always get. Ain't that right, boys? I don't even know why I did that. Anyway, um, this Charmander... Well, this, this is going to be a very special episode for Charmander, so... We will all see why very soon, but... Uh, it's, it's amazing that I'm actually using Pikachu as my poison uh, uh, dealer, so... Well, by poison dealer, I mean he's the one who... Uh, actually takes out the poison Pokemon. I'm one of the entertainers in the Traveling Circus. Well, congratulations, buddy. We have a Voltorb. Uh, I don't like Voltorb at all. Well, that's okay. Another Voltorb. Uh, Bulbazar should actually be able to handle this. Or I should say my brand new... Oh, really? Uh, this is why I love Bulbazar. I just took a freaking... Uh... Did Leaf Seed not work? I just took a... Um... I literally just ended up taking a self-destruct and only did like half damage. Bulbazar is an amazing Pokemon. We've been getting poor reviews on account of that. No account hack Melvin. Oh, so apparently everyone's very pissed at Melvin because he's been bringing the show down from what it sounds like to me at least. My gosh, I'm actually having trouble with these controls. It's probably because it's been quite a while since I've actually played this game, so. A lot of trainers here though. Shall we battle? Sure, why not? Okay, Miss Becky. I think I'll flamethrower your Pikachu. I'm sorry, Pikachu. As much as I like you, Raichu. As much as I like you, it's gotta happen sometimes. Uh, Leech Seed. Toxic. This is the joy of this strategy. And if I get too low, I can just use Synthesis to boost up and boom! Look how much damage that does! Giga Drain and boom! I love Bulbasaur. Sorry. Not yet. Oh my! Why didn't I just go to a double? battle there. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Flamethrower of the Pidgeotto. Yay! Farfetch'd. I have a feeling Pikachu's gonna do really well here, because I think it just has a bunch of flying Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Not if I remember correctly, if I've seen correctly. So, yay for Pikachu with the Thunderbolts all around for everybody! Pikachu! What a world. Sorry, buddy. I'll get you, kid, and your little... Oh! Oh, I love that. I came to see the show, but you're the one who showed me. Okay, Mr. Wizard of Oz reference. Okay, let's ride. So many trainers want to get right in my face for some reason. I don't know why. Grimer. <coughs> and it works. Yeah, I apologize that this isn't very entertaining today. The whole I'm not feeling up to full par kind of does take an effect on somebody after a while, so... Good riddance, but you know, we're actually speeding right through this, and I'm actually getting kind of used to using unevolved Pokemon, and there are really so many trainers, and all who are probably still very disappointed in Melvin, which is why we're going to help Melvin become a kick-ass musician, aren't we? Yay! But this is one of those special episodes, one that I've been waiting a very long time, and for those of you who actually have, uh, know the anime, or have played this game before, might, well no, really just anime, then you'll know exactly what's about to happen, and you know how psyched I am, because this is the episode, we just need to wait until kind of near the end of it. Boom, yay, Yasmin's gone. Fiend! Ah, <sighs> Pokemon Battling is about a stage, and all the trainers- That is a very good analogy about that, let me guess. Executor's Forest, alright, so we need to go in here and find ourselves an Executor. Which, I'm assuming there's just a bunch of Executes and Executors in here. Or I could just use Leaf Stone to evolve an Execute, so really either one will work. Execute, uh, let's catch the Execute, why not? We'll fire Spin, kill it, yeah. Oops, did not mean to do that, that's okay. Uh, yeah, so, I, oh, there's a Wild Executor anyway, so, I guess it's time for us to catch our Executor, even though I think Ash caught, like, a crap load of them from what I remember. That's gonna do quite a bit of Charmander, but that's okay. Alright, let's get actually get this. I actually love Seismic Toss. With it doing a base uh, 35 each time, it's actually pretty nice. And how many Pokeballs do I actually... Oh, 11. That'll be plenty. Actually catching a Zegador with a Pokeball, though, might be a little difficult, but we should be able to do it. If not, I'll just paralyze it with Pikachu. Ugh. Really? The Hypnosis crap? 
You know what, let's just fast forward this, because you all know I'm just trying to... Ah! Catch it! Why can't you catch it? Whatever. Okay. Um, I'll have to go and heal Charmander later. Thunder Wave! Yay, you see my method. It's a pretty much the same way I would catch any Pokemon, so... Oh my god! Is he gonna, like, take down each of my Pokemon or something? Come on, Executor! Go inside the damn ball! Great, he took out two of my Pokemon. Squirtle, maybe? Just use a Pokeball and capture it, please. Thank you! Oh my gosh, that was annoying. Alright, well, we got an Executor, at least. Uh, it is called the Walking Tropical Rainforest. Each of the nuts has a face and a will of its own. Huh, interesting. Well, no nickname for the Executor. We got the Executor, so let's head back to Melvin to actually uh, start the last parts of this episode. I'm thinking this might be a little bit on the short side, which is good considering I'm not feeling well as it is. All right, I will meet you back at Melvin's place. And we're back, and my Pokemon team is healed up, and actually Charmander is going to stay out front. And in case you want to see the Executor, which won't be long, mine for long anyway, 23, Chlorophyll, all that lovely stuff, so. All right. But still, it's kind of nice that they actually have you capture him to go kind of right along with the events of everything. So, let's talk to Melvin and let's continue the show. Oh, it's an Executor, thank you! And we gave the Executor to Melvin. Oh, well, now we're giving it to Melvin. There you go. Now, how about we put on a... Okay, so I guess now we're gonna have to fight, and Charmander's gonna be the star of the Melvin show! Juggler Melvin. <coughs> Probably has to, yep, execute and the Executor. But then that Executor should be on the weaker side. Honestly, both of them are on the pretty weak side, but you know what? Charmander's level 35, and I don't give a damn, so bye-bye, Execute. Love me enough to level up Charmander. Nope. Alright, then Charmander's gonna take out this Executor as well, which I would laugh if it's level 23. No, 28, okay, they adjust the level based on what it should be. Either way, I want Charmander to level up. I want Charmander to level up. In the actual episode, Charmander took out like 5 million Executor by himself. Well, with the help of Melvin eventually, because they end up almost destroying the town where the circus was in. That's just a little bit of that lovely history for you. And we defeated Juggler Melvin. Oh, I'm still a loser. Yay, we got money. And what's this? Oh no, I can't reach the B button. What's going to happen? Oh no, no. I'm breaking. Oh wait, but I'm not because this is the episode where Ash's Charmander actually evolves. So yay, we finally have a freaking evolution in our ranks. Woo, we got a Charmeleon. Yay, finally. Oh my gosh. Yay, anyway, thank you for your help, Ash. <coughs> Cough. Horribly and hack into the computer. <coughs> See, it was written right there. Anyway, now my show can be a big success. As a reward for your help, I'd like to teach a move soft blow to one of your Pokemon. How about it? Nope. If you decide you want to learn it, just come back anytime. Alright, cool. So, yes. We now got a Charmeleon. Hi, Charmeleon. Quirky nature. Now, I don't know... I don't know how this Charmeleon is going to work. I have a feeling that I might have a lot of trouble with Charmeleon, just because if it's just like anything like Ash's Pokemon, Ash's Charmeleon, it is going to annoy the shit out of me. But I guess we'll find out. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Ash Gray, we'll continue on left past that Executor Forest and see what adventures lie next. Until next time, this is Legendary China, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to <coughs> cough horribly into the mics, not really. And just remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. I have links to my Facebook and Twitter, so please follow and like me so you guys can keep more up to date with what I'm doing. Okay, see you guys later. Oh boy. Ah, that doesn't look good. I'm only gonna say this once, you guys. Kaz Gym's gonna be the official gym of Dark City. Save yourself some trouble and just clear out now. I'm afraid you have things all mixed up. You're the ones who had better clear out and fast. Leave now or we'll crush you like the slimy insect you are. Ooh, I've heard enough. Let's go. Today's the day we finally destroy you. Hold it. Huh? What? I'm the inspector from the official post.